we are reading text why because like uh, your data would be like in 01010 or whatever the garbage thing you will see like kind of sequence file it is a whole file that file will be read as a text then will be converted so it's it would be the input key and in input value would be byte writables okay and then it will be converted into reverse like byte writable and it, uh, so text will have like the path of every image Okay, the list of value. So text byte writable byte writable. This cannot be okay. Clean up. What we will do with this image data? Since we are reading text, you just need to write a value and key like this. So, text we are reading, basically it's uh, the path on which your image is there. Okay, within this, because this the thing is, uh, we need to convert this whole data into a sequence. So, this image needs to be kept into tar tar needs to be converted into sequence so if you see this we do have this image and this image gets converted into something else okay, so we need to follow the steps like that so you need to first download the image dot tar and this is the utility tar to sequence tar dot tar from the google drive okay so then untar you are this one file dot seven zip set the part to where you have extracted the file to this and run this command java jar tar to sequence dot jar images dot tar to images so whatever images dot tar you will have will be converted into image images dot sequence file okay now this sequence file we are now processing it okay so we need to do that first of all uh, how to do that uh, so i think i do have images dot sequences already created in my So images and images dot are okay. So this is the path I'm having it and tar to sign to here also. Sorry, sorry. So this is path. I need to change to this path. So here I do have this star Java. I can jar 
star to signal dot jar and then we need to have the images dot jar basically so what you can do is like put them put that image dot jar in this basically where is image put here this image dot tar and do images dot tar to images dot sequence so it has converted that image into image sequence right so this you need to put into the input directory basically okay so let's put that uh, into it input one so i'm just deleting this file separate I mean you know complete list of files of unique things okay now this name so just write context dot write key value just let let it be sorry value and key I think it's reverse this is done we need to write image user oh, yeah sequence is uh, you know uh, <sighs> sequence why watch oh, you are asking me why we are converted it into sequence because that is how I mean uh, that is what is called sequence file input format. Now, how it looks, basically, let me go through your question first if I understood correctly. So, can you please explain one more time why we converted to sequence format before and put the data to Java? Okay. See, the sequence. Uh, Out of sequence files and you use case on reading only the keys basically the header uh, sequence file is a flat file consisting of binary key value pairs so th these are actually key value pairs already sequence file is all only I mean it itself is a key value pair okay is a flat file consisting of binary key value binary key value pairs so what would be the key over here is the path of the path of that image and uh, it's binary equivalent so how so you can say that these are like images together in that sequence file in which so sequence file itself is a key value paired file first of all okay it's not like a plain C, uh, just like if, if I will give you that uh, so when you talk about basically a you know which file a simple text input format file so we can we can have anything like this right this is plain text input format where the key would be a long writable key and the value would be a text line. Now, if I give you a file like this, one comma, let's say uh, Hadoop, two comma, big data. Okay, so here you will have this comma as a field separator where, so you can treat this as a key and this as a value. Okay, so you can itself in a text form, you will you will have a key value pair. So this kind of file is will call key value text input format, either because it is still a text. Okay, but this kind of file will be called a key value text input format, or you can use key value text input format to process such data in which the file itself contains one delimiter, wherein the before the delimiter part you will consider as a key, and after the delimiter part you will consider it as a value. So sequence file is one of such use uh, such such case wherein it itself is a key value pair where is the key and values are stored in the binary form 
okay binary key value pairs so since we are you know reading this wide writables and uh, this text from that sequence file when we open it because it is now six we are using sequence file input format okay so when we read it we will read text as the path of your you know the image where it is stored and image data itself as a wide writable data okay so that image data is actually you know the 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 image uh, the image data itself is like kind of a binary format in which it is stored as a value in the sequence file okay so it is extensively in MapReduce as input output format it also worth noting that internally the temporary output maps are stored using sequence file and while provider a writer reader and sorter classes for writing reading and sorting respectively that there are three different sequence file format uncompressed key value record I got compressed key value records only values are compressed here so the thing is on the top of this binary key value pairs you can also you know force compression so that your sequence file will be more smaller than the other I mean the see currently we use text input for in all our cases that is not complete as of, as of now it, it does not have any compression on the top of it okay so uh, uh, the compression for would be what gzip snappy bzip okay there are all like four or five compressions basically and depending on whether you want what kind of ratio of compression and decompression you want okay which is faster which is saving you more space basically depending on your different use cases you can select different type of compressions on the top of your data okay so <clears throat> as of now we have not used any but basically you can have that in your use case so when i say uncompressed key value pairs it means that is okay i mean the key value is still in binary form but it is not again compressed so you can either uh, record compressed key value where only values are compressed here and block compressed means both key and values are collected in blocks separately and compressed the size of block is com configurable okay so there are a lot to read around the sequence file but sequence file is nothing but it's it itself is a key value paired file in which both key and key and value are stored in a binary form that's it and since we cannot read the you know image as normal text we need to just you know read its binary content basically okay so when we copy the image and you open that file so we will see some garbage okay that garbage we cannot understand basically but if you read it as a white writable the MapReduce code will read it for you and like will understand for you and then will uh, you know that's why we have stored it as a sequence file because the path where that image though and the image content would be used as a key value pair and stored in a binary form in a sequence file so does it clear your question niche does it make some sense okay now once we get into the reducer we are reading byte writable in text and things and emitting text that is the path of that uh, you know path of uh, the file and it's but it's not right okay so why we, we just need to generate text because we are not doing anything with that key sorry uh, value text would be what you will have here a text as uh, you know the path of that particular image that is unique in itself Okay, so in this particular output, we will have like a file in which there are multiple paths of different images. But, okay, so those are unique in themselves, like they will not be repeated. So we'll just, you know, ensure that whatever we are getting is correct. And null writables, in there is no value part emitted as a key value pair output of reduce. So that's why it is null writable. So null writable also is a data type in, in, in Hadoop. Okay, so let's write... image reducer see the thing is now by this time you should know that the overall you know framework is working similar from top to bottom okay no matter what data you are working with see you need to have reducer
So white array table, that's what we are generating out of mapper. So we do have key here. So now white was key in double value this and for X break okay so with the so what we are getting in the value over here is like let's say your let's say your image one right for image one so we will have uh, image one path path and its binary data of image image one image one okay so this this would be like kind of multiple times so let's say this is for image two this is for image two then image three and so on you know what what will happen is let's say this image two and one are they are common okay basically so what will what will happen is we are generating uh, binary data of image one image of because if they are equal so what key value pair would be emitted for this is like uh, you will have binary data for that image comma the list of values for you know in that list you will have image one path image one path and comma image two path okay, because they are they are they are identical with to each other basically so that's why their key would be common okay because these these two things are identical binary data of image one and binary data of image two these are common or identical so we are pro we are we are treating it as a key basically so for key we will have only single key but its list of values are different because uh, it will contain the paths of each images one after the other so what we'll do is we just need to read any one of them and just break them two and that we are actually trying to do here so that uh, so for text type text type a value we should say a dot okay so we need to create a string of image text type okay so start with here image path would be is equal to e dot or you can say just a while it's itself in the text field indirectly we need not to do some twisting or what so and just break it because we just need to get only the first value of because everything every other entries will be identical okay and just write context dot write and we are generating uh, text type and run null writable so key would be text so new text and it would be image image file path and value would be new new null write table what it says we need to go null in text error insert
www.writable.get Okay, so we have our data ready and everything is ready now. It's very simple one. So what's the error over here? It's like we throw catch. Okay, so image job where it is our image of this one. Okay, so just run configuration. Image job. Argument would be this two things. So we do input and output and class path. Advanced add folders. Example source resources. There is a problem. Why write table type mismatch in key of map expected org apache adobe by writable dot reduce okay but received bytes write table by writable bytes write table okay what we should expect so reduce bytes write table Bytes right table. It should be bytes right table. From image made by bytes, bytes right table. That is where it needs to be somewhere here. Byte right table, it should be bytes right table. Again, issue. What is it? Uh, cannot be cast to byte writable. Where I see is text dot symbol. It says cannot be cast. A, uh, bytes writable cannot be cast, but where it is, okay. we need to have everywhere bytes writable, not byte writable, but where we have it. Let's remove this un unused import. There is nothing over here. So here it should be by starting. It's done now. Now let's see how the output looks like. 
I have here see it says images image 10 3 2 69 5 8 28 so there are only eight unique images now if you see the actual images and try to copy this Now if you see image 10, right, so image 10 is in unique, image 10 is where this one, okay, now if you compare this image 10 is not in 21, so at least it has come up, right, image 10.png, now image 3, image 3 is unique because now you will see that image 3 is like image 25, image 26, okay, image 24, are getting me then image 2 where is image 2 so image 2 image 1 image 2 image 3 basically they are like unique in themselves so 2 3 comes so for 1 we should have either 1 or 8 or 23 or 22 or 43 44 where are they I just want to know that this image okay so what is there for it what about 16 16 is different image 10 is okay unique image 3 is unique 2 is unique that is also okay what what about image 9 image 9 is also unique image 5 is also unique image 8 Image 9, 8, where is 8? Oh yeah, this one. So 8 has come. That's what I was talking about. Image 1, image 8, they are like identical. And then finally image 28. Okay, so only 8, or oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, 8 only, 8, out of this only 8 images are unique. Rest all are the duplicates of them. Are you getting me? Now, do the same thing. Do one thing, I mean, let's put all the WhatsApp photographs over here, okay? and do the same experience whether it works or not but the thing is how will you copy into the output file so this is only the path right uh, if i really want them to be copied into the another file because we already have the binary equivalent of that right so just copy them into the output i, I we have just like so change your use case like uh, i know do it for copying 